All right, and uh, we are back very quickly. We've got our lobby set up, and we are getting ready to go here. It's going to be Akalon Waste, Terran versus Zerg, Arc D versus Winter. And that's going to be game number two for this match, and we're getting, you know, we're plugging our way through uh, the winner's bracket here, and the loser's bracket is playing itself out in out on the uh, computers over there, so we are going to have a lot more games for the rest of the day, I believe. We've yeah, got we are. quite and, a number. Uh, we're going to be, uh, as you said, uh, we're going to be having some matches from the loser bracket as well. I believe the quarterfinals or semi, semifinals. Semifinals and Round finals. Round of four loser bracket yes. of the uh, loser bracket today. Um, all right, looks like our players are ready. Yep, I've got to disable that. Uh, big thanks to Galligation here, who has been setting up our matches today. It was a masterful job you've been doing. Why, thank you. I'm doing my best. And we are jumping into Akalon Wastes. Yep, and as we start out here on the lower right-hand corner of Akalon Wastes, it is going to be our Zerg player. His name is Winter. And in the top left-hand corner... Attempting to hold himself against the force that has been the Zerg onslaught in the blue trunks playing Terran. It is Arc D. You know, we have not seen many Protoss today. We really haven't. Apparently, there's not a, pro a lot of Protoss in the uh, areas surrounding Detroit. Yeah. Uh, Protoss is a very southern race. <laughs> We've actually seen a lot out of Winter Day, and I'm sure those Winter fans out there are going to be enjoying that. He's been a pleasure to work with, and uh, Cast, is, he, his play has been very Oops. exciting to watch. Is it still on us? Yeah, Whoopsie it is. doopsies. Uh, let, me, uh, let me just fix that for you. Yep, got it. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> uh, thanks, Defeator. We got that covered. <laughs> Whoops. Good thing we didn't do anything embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, oh my. <laughs> it, you know, it, we do something like that, it seems like every time we uh, do one of these events, there's always at least once where there's an overlay that we forget to switch off of. It's all right. It all happens. That's We that's are the right. casting crew, the production crew, the game creating crew. We are the crew. Yep. Yeah, we, we are the roadies. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're we quite the value, you know? Yeah. You we know, do it all. You, yeah. <laughs> you get a bargain when you get us. <laughs> you get a few things when you get us. I'm not sure if one of them is a bargain. <laughs> So looks like a barracks is going to be going down at the ramp for Arc D and a quick expansion from Winter. You know, we saw three bases really fast. We're going to see the same thing again. We don't have to wait and see, but uh, no signs of a pool just yet. The SCV from Arc D is going to walk his way through. Winter does take the bait a little bit, and uh, oh, three drones actually three going drones. to chase around. Yeah, that's. and that's a few more than he probably wanted to have on there. Wow, uh, Winter definitely wants that SCV to be dead. He certainly do. That SCV is making its way out, though. I think he's going to try and do a deny on a potential oh. third base, but only one oh. more swipe, oh. and down it goes. That drone that was the victor is going to go turn itself into a hatchery now. Or is it? A little juke there. Uh, Winter does have the money for it, so it looks like it is going to be a hatchery. Uh, a command center going down in the ramp, same as before. There is a drone inside, which is harassing the SCV that is building that barracks. And he's going to keep trying to do that little gas trick, but the the refinery is already down on the one that he wanted to go. I don't think that he realizes that quite yet, but he's going to run around to the other one and jump onto that, potentially. But the SCV has been pulled off, so he's going to do his own thing now. Third base is in production for winter. That spawn pool is going down as well, so we are seeing pretty much the same thing that we saw from him before. Yep, Man Center finishes up just as the drone takes a few shots at that SCV. Now a Marine will be in production that will come back to try and deal with that drone harassing things, and the third base is soon to pop. Second base is done. The spawning pool half done. So Winter, both players largely doing the same builds they did before. Winter trying to get some uh, STV kills here in the mineral line, and it looks like, oh, one more one more shot, and he uh, might actually get that one down, but there's not much HP left on that drone, so he's just going to do the same... Uh, I was going to say a word, but I feel like it's the word that if we were to do a, a word cloud of things we say, shenaniganry would be giant. Yeah, I don't even know if that's actually a word, no, too. I'm sure we should it's not. We should probably figure that out. I like the word, though. And, you know, the next person who says shenanigans around here is going to get pistol whipped. You know, what it's going <laughs> to turn into is a uh, drinking game. <laughs> that, you could do that. There are a few things that we say quite... With quite regularity. Like this is my favorite map. 
<laughs> you do say that a lot. <laughs> At any rate, factory going down and the reactor is being made on that barracks, so they are going to lift up and swap around. And you know, that extractor keeps being canceled and put back down. That Marine's working overtime. There's two of them there now, and uh, you know, RT's just not able to get that second gas whether he wants it or not. Third base is up and mining for winter now as that extractor has been harassed and uh, Winter's canceled it a few times to make it up again, but it is gonna finish and die here shortly. Uh, there is a Overlord over the natural expansion of Arc D, uh, so he knows that that base exists. Not mining yet though, and there is a decent amount of energy on that orbital command, but uh, you know, to be honest, he's been quite busy as a, a third command center again. So this is very similar builds we've seen. Third command center going down for RT in base. Uh, factory, double factory. So we're gonna see mech again, it looks like. Two Marines trying to shoo the Overlord away to uh, try and deny any vision it might get. It has not seen either of the factories. It has seen the reactor though. And you know, in a situation like this where you see you have a game one that goes clearly in winner's favor, and then you have a game two, and both players seem to be doing the same thing, I wonder if I was in Arc D's shoes, you know, what am I thinking at this point? Is it that I felt like my build didn't go quite right, or I made a few errors that I'm going to just make a few alterations and try it again, uh, and see if I can get a better deal? Or are you, you know, would you, what would prevent you theoretically from doing a completely different build? Uh, it Texter in chat saying no single scout going Thor. I mean, that's uh, from what I've seen of Arcti, that's what he does. He's a mech type player. I think the only race that he does not go mech against is Terran. Uh, usually it does a bio against Terran, but he does love his mech, so I think that's one of those things where he's going to do it no matter what. And uh, we'll see how that works out for him. This game, he's got four Hellions out, one bunker at the front with a couple Marines, and he's going to send those Hellions out to do some scouting and uh, try and deny some creep spread as the creep is starting to work its way out there quite a ways already. He is getting blue flame on those Hellions as well, so they are going to be extra toasty, but the uh, Sim City is already going on by winter. He's got it blocked off pretty well. And they, uh, so those uh, Hellions are going to be banished to the third base where they are going to get poked at by Queens and Spine Crawlers. Yeah, there is a Spine Crawler at the ramp here too, so he's not going to get very far with those Hellions. Two do go down, but he does save two of them. Uh, so we'll see what does come behind it. Three more Hellions in Blue Flame, as well as SCVs. So now the layer is going to be coming down for Winter as well. Uh, as well as a range attack upgrade. So as the Roach Warren is popping, we're going to likely see a, a swell of Roaches like we did last time. I wouldn't be surprised. Not at all. It proved to be very effective last time, and I would not be surprised if it did a similar amount of damage this time. I mean, he continues to make these Hellions, and the, the uh, he's got two more factories in production, but he's going to have to get to those Thors at some point here. The armories are in production. But yeah, that third command center is uh, flying its way down here to this base, which is... I think it's going to be tough for him to defend because it's a pretty wide open path. I mean, there are overlords over it, so these Marines are going to try and shoo them away uh, as the command center lumbers its way over there. But uh, once these roaches do come out, I mean, it's going to be tough for him to defend this spot. There's eight in production right now, and they're going to be out uh, shortly after 1-1 finishes. So uh, Arc D is going to need some units here real quick to deal with these. I mean, he does have... Uh, the two factories in production, two armories, so he's going to need to get some tanks and some just some meteor units. He doesn't even have any much at the front to block things off. Arc D is running his uh, Hellions around, was able to hug a queen and then kill it subsequently. And some roaches are out on the field now. They're going to try and clean that up as creep spread continues to move forward. It's and obvious that there's going to be mech out of Arc D as the Overlord finds four factories in uh, in his base, two Hellions. Uh, Arc D a bit supply block now as he's got things, uh, two Thors and a tank queued up. And it uh, looks like some supply drops coming down to fix that problem. Oh, those Hellions are going straight by those roaches and they run into the same wall that they hit before. The, all of these Hellions are going to die. Winter has some great roach spread here and uh, they're trying to get whatever drone kills they can, but it doesn't look like that was oh, very successful. Oh, did get a couple hits off. Didn't actually get the kills, but just, again, one more shot would have done it. But there's a lot of roaches on the map now, Galagation. There absolutely total are. Of 34 roaches. And there's really not much of a wall here. And even if there was, there's not much to defend. Yeah, two Marines in that bunker. Looks like this is going to be another quick one if I was to give a prediction, but I don't like to get ahead of myself. The Roach is coming in, hugging those SCVs. Tank coming out. We'll see, Jeff, but the Roaches are walking right past those yeah, it's supply depots. Too little too late in terms of that tank. There's another one in production. The two Thors are out. They're going to hang out at the top of that ramp, it looks like. Uh, but 
geez, all these roaches, I don't even know what those Thors would be able to do. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot. They are kind of just sitting at the top of the supply depot go down so fast. There's so many roaches there. That Thor is going to lose its life. The Hellion is not able to do anything against roaches. Another tank comes out, but a little too late here as we're going to see a uh, pretty quick GG from Arctia. Yeah, the roaches continue to stream across the map, and there's the GG. And there's the GG. So that was a uh, an interesting game, you know. I mean, it was kind of the same thing we saw the first game. You know, Arcti definitely is a player that likes his mech. Uh, as I said, you know, he kind of non-discriminately goes that way. You know, some people in chat were saying, you know, no scout Thors. I mean, that's just, you know, that's a style he likes, and you can't blame a guy for that. Uh, but, uh, you know, Winter definitely had his number there with just kind of doing the very quick expanding and getting those roaches out. It's just, you know, the time it takes to get those tanks and Thors out is right when 30 roaches are running up your gate. Yep. Absolutely. So I think that we're going to try and get Winter to see if we can do an interview, and then we'll be jumping into our next match. Absolutely. And we're working our way through the bracket here. If you want to see the bracket, you can go to challenge.com slash yumicon. Big thanks to Troy of SC2CTL. You'll notice we're we are streaming on the SC2CTL channel today. We are the SC2CTL casters yeah, uh, here cool. at uh, Yumicon uh, covering this event. It's been a pretty cool event. Before we go, real quick, Gallagher, why don't you